Hi, thank you for calling Apex Agent System. Next one, your appointment is confirmed. Thank you for calling and have a great day. All right, thanks. I'm going to show you how to build this free voice receptionist using AnyDen, Outlook, and Vappy. The first thing we need to do is go to a website called Vappy. The link is in the description. Vappy is just the website for building AI voice agents. Let's go ahead and hit Create Assistant. This assistant is going to be called Appointment Setter. Go ahead and click Create Assistant. The model that we're going to use today is GPT 4.1 Mini. That's the best model that I've seen so far. The first message mode is going to be Assistant Speaks First with Model Generated Message. That basically means that we can put the first message into the system prompt, which is basically the instructions that our AI voice agent needs. And for our system prompt, the easiest way to do this is just get it from a template that I have. It's going to be called Assistant Prompt Master Template. Go ahead and hit Control A, Control C to copy, Control A, Control V to paste, and hit Publish. And basically all it's going to say is something like, Hey, this is uh, your business name. So we're just going to enter in your business name. And then all you need to do is change your time zone. So, and then just set your meeting duration. So I'm going to leave it at 30 minutes. And finally, we just need to give a name for the AI. In this case, it's going to be Alex. After that, we can go ahead and change the temperature. For the temperature, I'll just change it to zero for this example. Next, we're going to go down to the tools section and go ahead and create some tools so that we can give it to our AI voice agent to use. Go ahead and click on create new tool. Then we need to click on create tool, custom tool. Now the first tool that we need to give our agent is going to be a tool called check availability. And as you can see, this tool is going to allow our agent to check the availability in your Outlook calendar. Now the next thing we need to do is go down to the parameters section and basically tell the agent what this tool is supposed to do. So the easiest way to do is go to visual editor, click on this button, and then we just need to paste in the information about the tool. So go ahead and go over here to the template and then click on check availability, control A, control C, control V to paste. And basically all it's saying is the target date for the search to format it as a full ISO 8610 date time string. So I can actually just hit apply. I can uncheck this if you want to see what it looks like. And as you can see, we're just looking for an initial search date and time to basically check what day in order to look for availability for. Go ahead and hit save. After that, we're going to need to get our second tool. So click on create a tool, custom tool. Now the next tool is going to be called book appointment. So same thing here, go down to the parameters, click on visual editor, and just go ahead and get our information from the template. Control A, Control C, Control V, apply, uncheck. And here you can see basically we're trying to collect the client's name, the end date and the start time for the appointment that they're trying to book. So. Go ahead and hit save. Now the next thing we need to do is go to assistance and then go back down to the tools tab that we saw earlier and basically assign to the agent the tools that we just created. So go ahead and click select all and hit publish. After that, we need to go to phone numbers and basically claim a free phone number. So click on create phone number. And as you can see, you can get up to 10 free phone numbers for free. So go ahead and just click any area code that you want. And then go ahead and scroll down to the inbound settings. And then we're going to assign to the inbound phone number, the assistant that we just created. So go ahead and click appointment setter, scroll up and hit save. Alrighty, so now that that is all done, all we need to do is connect Vappy with NADEN. So, we need to go over to NADN and just go ahead and create a new workflow. Again, if you haven't signed up already, go ahead and sign up using the link in the description. And then basically, easiest way to do this is just click on the three dots, click on import from file, and then just click on assistance. Now it's going to be called Outlook Appointment Setter.json. So click on that. And there you go. There it's completely just imported all the way in. So first thing we need to do is basically look at production URL equals VAPI server URL. So basically what that means is double click on here. And then we're going to click on the production URL and then click on the production URL a couple times to make sure that it copies. Then go back over to Vabby and then we need to give it to our agent. So go ahead and click on assistance, scroll all the way down to the messaging section right here and then input it for the server URL here. And then for the server messages, we don't want all of these server messages. We only want tool calls. So go ahead and select all until it unselects and then go down and just select tool calls publish. So that is our AI voice agent 100% complete. All we need to do is finish our NADN setup. So go back to NADN. Next thing that we need to do is this configuration nodes. Go ahead and click on that. And here it's basically saying we're going to give our time zone. So America, Chicago. 
and then you can select information about your start time and also your the duration of your account of your meetings once you've done that the next thing we need to do is basically go to the get outlook calendar events and we need to click on this and here it's going to be red because we haven't created our credentials so i'm going to go ahead and create one and show you how that works so create a new credential as you can see here it's asking for a client id and a client secret so in order to get these you need to go to a website called portal.azure.com all right so once you sign in go ahead and go to the search bar over here and then you're going to type in app registrations then go ahead and click on app registrations next we need to slide over here and click on new registration then we need to basically get a new directory by signing up for azure so go ahead and click on signing up for azure then click on try azure for free as you can see basically here your credit card won't be automatically charged unless you move to pay as you go pricing so this is completely free you don't have to worry about getting charged go ahead and go to how do you plan on using your azure account we'll just say for personal use then go ahead and enter in your information and then we're going to click please solve the puzzle so we know you're not a robot hit next all right once that's done go ahead and hit next next go ahead and enter in your information then check this box and then hit next next as i said earlier this is completely free and you won't be charged unless you actually manually say that you want to switch to pay as you go pricing so next we're going to go ahead and enter in our information scroll down and then hit sign up all right and once that is done go ahead and click next all right so now that that is done we just need to go back and finish our app registration so go back to app registrations then go over here and click on new registration then we're going to give it a name such as n8n for our supported account times go ahead and just use accounts in any organizational directory and personal microsoft accounts next for our redirect uri we just need to get this from n8n so go back over to n8n and the redirect URL is going to be this one over here. So go ahead and click on this a couple of times. Just make sure that it copies and then go back over to the app registration and then basically paste it over into here. And the platform is going to be a web platform. Then all we need to do is go over here and click on register. Alrighty. So now all we need to do is basically get our client ID, copy it, go back over to NNN, paste it in for the client ID. Then we need to get our client secret. So go back over to Azure. And then we basically need to add a secret. So click on add a secret. Then we're gonna go ahead and click on new client secret. Then we're gonna go ahead and give it a quick description. For this one, I'll just say NNN. And for the expiration date, I'm gonna go ahead and say 730 days. Then go ahead and click on add. All right, and there is our client secret all complete. So all you need to do is copy the value over here. So click on copy. Then go back over to NNN hit paste and last thing to do is hit connect my account then go ahead over here and enter in your email address and click next next we just need to scroll down and then click on accept and there it is connection successful i just showed you how to connect nnn with microsoft 365 so after that is done go ahead and click back out and here basically we're going to get all the events in your calendar so that's correct and then we can go ahead and click out of that and then I've already written the code here, but basically all it's going to do is calculate the potential slots for your calendar and then filter for those slots and then basically respond to the AI voice agent with the available times. So the next thing we need to do is basically set up this calendar that is responsible for booking the appointment into your Outlook calendar. So go ahead and double click on this. Here the calendar is going to be from the list and then go ahead and select your calendar. It's just going to be calendar and that is all done. So go ahead and click out and all there's left to do now is go ahead and hit save and then turn the workflow to active so that it's actively listening for new information that's going to get passed over onto the webhook. All right, so now that VAPI and N8N are all completely set up, all we need to do is go over to VAPI and then basically get our phone number so that we can go ahead and give it a call and test it out. Hi, thank you for calling Apex Agent Systems. This is Alex. I can help you book an appointment. Is that what you're looking for today? Yeah. Great. To get started, what day would be best for you? Yeah, can we do Monday? Thanks, I will check availability for Monday now. Okay, I have a few times available on Monday, September 1. Uh, 9 a.m., 9.30 a.m., 10 a.m., and 10.30 a.m. Would any of those work for you? Sure, let's do 9 a.m. Perfect, and what is your full name, please? My name's Anthony. Thanks, Anthony. Just to confirm, 
I have you down for an appointment on Monday, September 1st at 9 a.m. Is that all correct? That's right. Next one. Your appointment is confirmed. Thank you for calling and have a great day. All right, thanks. And there it is. I just showed you how to build a free voice receptionist using NADN, VAPI, and Outlook. So if you want to get those files, go ahead and go to my school community. Click on the YouTube prompts and templates tab. And then you basically click on the post that I'm going to make so that you can download those files and basically plug them in exactly like I showed you. And then if you have any questions, go to the community discussion tab and you can ask me any question that you need help with. And I'll make sure that you get the help that you need. So smash that subscribe button to learn more about AI voices every single day. And I'll see you in the next video.